Hi everybody, yesterday after I'd spent an hour creating a how-to video about the Daisy Editor, Inclement Dab and his team have implemented the most amazing change to this mod, which is a game changer. It is a dream come true for console, including PlayStation and Xbox um, server modders, and obviously PC modders as well. What Imp Inclement Dab has done with his team is they have now added export options to the DayZ editor that fit exactly what we need to be able to um, create and then save and then upload custom structure spawn files and the associated map group pos code snippets to make sure that loot is spawning inside them. It's absolutely amazing, it's brilliant. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So, uh, in the description below this video, you'll see a link to the video I did yesterday where I spent an hour going through how you can use the Daisy editor, export the data, change the data because it wasn't quite right when it came out of the editor, and then put that into the correct farm format for uploading to your um, Nitrado um, console um, servers. Half, uh, three quarters of that time is now gone. It's, it's because it exports it correctly. So, for example, here is a little scene that I have created um, in Daisy Editor. And remember, if you're watching this as a console player, thinking, wait a minute, I've only got a low powered laptop or a low powered PC. That's why I play Daisy on console. You don't need a machine with much power to run Daisy and Daisy Editor. If you can load up Daisy and run it at 10 frames a second with all the graphical settings turned all the way down and like the view distance all the way down, you'll be able to run the editor because all you're really doing is just placing objects and rotating them, changing the pitch and the yaw. You're not playing the game. So you don't have to worry about being having a fast enough frame rate to deal with zombies and things like that. So anyway, so here we are. We're in Livonia. I've created uh, this little scene. We've got what we've got. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We've got nine objects. Um, and one, two, three, four, five, six of them will spawn loot, or we'd want them to spawn loot, and I've placed them down, and they're all good to go. So now, if I want to use this, all I have to do now is, well, first you want to save as, you want to save the project so you don't lose it, but then when you want the actual coordinates and the JSON and the XML, you just go File, Export, Export to Object Spawner, star.json, and you just scroll down here and give it a name, and then you go file, export, export to map group pos because this now works correctly as well. And then what you then do, if you go into your documents, Daisy, and then the editor files, they'll be in there. Then if you open them up within your text editor, you will see that this is formatted exactly the right way to simply upload it to your server if you're on console into the custom um, folder with inside the mission folder so if this is uh, this is a Livonia server we're going to be using this on so we'd, we'd upload it inside the Enoch mission folder um, inside the custom folder inside the missions folder just like that give it a relevant name refer to it in the CFG game um, play um, file CFG gameplay.json file so that it will load it and that will then spawn the buildings in. And then what it also gives us is it gives us the map group pos XML excerpt, excerpt, this, that is formatted in the correct way now. So your is now in the correct position at the back. And the A value, the one that takes a while to work out, so you've got to do copy and pasting, now works correctly as well. So all you need to do is copy that Copy it into your map group pos for your particular uh, server. Whether that you can do that um, on the on the web in the in the, the interface, um, save that, um, and then then restart it, and and then you're good to go. It's absolutely absolutely fantastic. Um, it cuts down the time it t takes to um, the overall time it takes to create these uh, custom locations immensely and it means you can spend time in the editor getting the scene correct you know because the editor is amazing you know you can you know you can spawn in as a character you know and we can wander around making sure everything looks good are the angles all correct all that sort of stuff we, we it's, it's a fantastic piece of kit to use you know on par i think now 
with with the way that you can spawn structures in in the juice editor uh, for for armor um it really is it may, it may even be better it may even be easier to use i think um so you can spend your time doing that creating immersive locations for the players on your servers um and the actual time it takes to do the technical bit of uploading the the files you know and then editing the uh, map group files takes a couple of minutes and you're done um it's absolutely fantastic a massive pat on the back it means that now people who maybe even before were a little bit reluctant to have a go at something like this now you can dive in and you can create all sorts of things a couple of little hints and tips as well when you're using the um, editor as a console player uh, or doing stuff for console make sure that when you put stuff uh, search for stuff and use stuff use the land stuff so land mill tent for example don't use the builder stuff because the builder stuff is part of another mod that loads in when you load in the editor um, and obviously don't put too much of stuff in because you, you don't want to overload the uh, the server as well um, if you're putting buildings in it's always good to um, choose somewhere where the land is fairly flat otherwise you'll spend a lot of time going moving your structures up and down in order to um, uh, in order to make sure you haven't got um, either steps that don't reach the ground or you've got like grass coming through um, and poking poking through that way um, and the other things are just make sure that on your server you have um, activated cfg gameplay.json if you're on pc make sure you've got in your server dz dot uh server dz dot config file you've got enable cfg gameplay file equals one semicolon um and then you simply upload the files inside your custom folder there is dodgers live pub dot json um alter your cfg gameplay.json to include within the object spawner array the address so on console it would be square bracket exclamation um, um, quotation marks custom forward slash the name of the file dot json quotation marks close squares bracket and then within your um, map group pause post in those because they're the bits that spawn it in save it all restart your server and you will be good to go so there we go, an amazing update. Um, thank you very much to Increment Dev and his team. This is this is only the beginning. Actually, the one there was one other tip that I was going to mention as well is, if you want to build walls, there's certain walls that we can spawn in, but there's certain stuff we 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 can't. But remember, especially for things like bases, you can make very very interesting uh, bases using containers because there's different types of containers. So, for example, if you wanted to make a military base, who's to say military base, like a forward operating base, a temporary military location, during the uh, infected apocalypse, wouldn't be surrounded by uh, military, con uh, you know, steel containers. A very, very easy and quick way to, to make a secure structure that would be secure against zombies. You know, it could be secure against the infected. So that's what I'm going to be doing with some of my military stuff. You know, to create a walled enclosure, I'm going to be using uh, containers because they're one of the easy walls that we can spawn in uh, on console. Anyway, there we go. That's enough for me. Thanks again to Inclement Dev and his team. What an amazing job they've done. And uh, I can't wait to see what the community comes up with um, with all these custom JSON files that you can simply copy from someone else, download it from their GitHub or wherever they put it on Discord or something or on Facebook, um, upload it to your server, put the correct file reference in the cfggameplay.json, and then you will have what they've done. Brilliant. Thank you very much. See you again soon.